North Carolina Prepper here. And as you can see, I probably tried to redo this video like five times and killed my power supply, so I had to let it recharge overnight. So we're up to about, it says 100%, but it ain't really 100%. I know it'll drop once I pull the power out. Um, so let's, let's see here. Yeah, it's going to drop down to about 75%. I'm going to go ahead and use this and leave it plugged in. It won't do any real voltage, but it'll uh, keep the power supply up for the sake of this video. And since it's actually going to the battery, it's going to act as a line filter, so it won't tear everything up. It's a solid-state charger, so we're good on that. All right, let me, um, let me get on to the video here. Hold on. Okay, here's an issue of code. Um, I don't know who's sending, I wasn't really paying attention, but you gotta line up your waterfall down here. This aligns the frequency that's on, or the harmonic of the frequency. Now, you can hear that coming through. Now, code will come through on static, even if it's bad or off. So I'm changing the frequency. It'll still get the code. If I realign that. So we're picking up code now. So there's an example. I think I saw QRZ.com somewhere. I don't know. But that's an example of packet radio. It's using Morse code and I'm using the radio or the computer to decode it. I can also send code that way too, but I'm not going right now because I want to get my call sign. But... That's that. I mean, I don't need to physically hear it to hear it go in there. And we're at, um, our frequency right now is, um, 3.5, uh, 80.30. So we're, we're down in the lower bounds. Or a higher bound, I guess. Bigger meters. So, there's that. Let me find some PSK31 so you know what it sounds like. Everybody knows what Morse code sounds like. So let me find some PSK. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's PSK 31. Now we look at our waterfall down here. You can see that there's some channels coming through. Let's jump over here. But although we can't really hear it, uh, it's probably static. Alright, let me wait till it keys up again. Here's about over here. Okay, it's been raining here all day, and there's just a lot of bad problems with the ham, and I think the farmer over here has got an electric fence set up, which is playing havoc with it. Um, so there you go, 30 meters got through. CW, or continuous wave, or Morse code always gets through. Let me go over here and show you how we did it. Okay. This is a Z11 Pro antenna tuner and a signal link USB. Basically, I can key to any channel. This is an automatic channel tuner. So if I just hit the radio and have it call, they call the tuner, it will find a match. So there it went down. I mean, we can go to uh, just about any, any bad frequency. And uh, let it tune if it can. See, that's not the very best tuning, but it does work. Um, they, I'm using 40 meter ham sticks, so they're made for about center of the band. I don't have the radials extended, so as it is, it's completely compromised. So, there's retuning again. Okay, so, like I said, it's not working. Anyway, the, the Z11 Pro will let me tune up a dog cage. I've used a shopping cart for an antenna. It makes the, the radio see it as if it's a real antenna. Um, doesn't mean it radiates good, just means it can. I've used a tree as an antenna one time. I just pounded nails into it. Uh, the SignalLink USB, 
is basically a sound card. Um, it's a USB sound card that takes a radio out and puts it in the computer through a uh, USB. And that gives us a pure thing. Oh, I hear people talking. I got a range that retuned. So there we go, there's people actually talking now. Fifth L2. And the radio is not important. Um, it just happens to be an icon. There's Jesus, uh, 718 or 857Ds or or whatever they're about half the cost of this one and uh the image is off and work just fine for radios they're they're just they're just as good this one just has a lot of stuff on it i figured buy once cry once on this and uh i don't have to worry about it it does everything built-in filters all kinds of stuff i don't even understand um, but that's not the point. The point is, what you need is this. You need a signal link, or you need, you need a radio. And any radio, actually, you can actually, uh, use one of these. I turn it on. Just make sure it has sideband on it. I'm zoom on that. Uh, it has a sideband option. <coughs> This is a, uh, a Kato uh, KA1102. Take that. Take a jumper wire or a, uh, a plug. Plug in your laptop sound card and the headphones out on that, and you're good to go. So I'll try to do another one later with more PSK, and I'll actually use some transmitting on it. Uh, I just don't feel like going outside and putting the antenna physically outside right now. Uh, it's night, it's raining. I just don't want to do it. So, I'll probably do that tomorrow in the next few days or something. But, basically that's all you need. And sure, code always gets through. That's why, uh, with all the static, code will come through. But you could just take and, um, just get a little tiny, uh, Altoids can and transmit code. And then, um, I can't show you now because it's on my phone. But Android has free uh, CW or continuous wave or Morse code. It's all the same thing. Decoders you can just hold there and it'll it'll translate for you if you don't know code. So you can always receive information. Make friends out of the country or out of the disaster, a known disaster area. I mean, like my friends in England. No matter, well, not friends, but people I talk to, their acquaintances. They always will be able to give me intel of something. If something bad happens here like a hurricane and everything just goes to crap they can give me the intel I need of what's going on and, you know um, if you go with the pack or station which is another video um, you can actually receive maps and weather faxes and all kinds of basically pack or is what they use on big ships like luxury liners and stuff to send an email back and forth it's effectively internet without the internet it's, you provide your own inter infrastructure, but that's another video. Anyway, this is North Carolina Prepper. I just want to say this, there's a little demo on packet radio, and all I did for you was decode CW, but still. Alright, please uh, rate and subscribe, and look forward to my next videos. They'll be a lot better.